there guys, Coaster Child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be looking at Hollywood Tour at Fantasialand. Now, all the signage seems to have been removed from the ride recently, which seems to hint towards its permanent closure. Now, we're going to talk about the information around this, uh, the full information, share my thoughts on it, but also share the site in question on Google Maps as well, because we want to talk about future developments at Fantasialand. So, it's worth a discussion, this one. Uh, so, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer every single day, guys, to 3,000 subs. We want to try and hit four. Okay, by the end of this year and also 1 million views we're about three quarters of the way there nearly uh, to 1 million views and we're you know we're, we're getting towards 3,000 subs you know every day so it'd be really really nice to get to 4k by the end of this year also guys check the description down below for social media links for this channel and also the Google Forms where you can submit your own uh, video ideas uh, and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what's going on uh, with Hollywood tour and its possible removal from Fantasialand so Hollywood tour at Fantasialand is no more with the ride having safety signage no longer present as well as it not being listed on the park's new map the ride was closed for much of last year with some sort of water damage believed to be the reason the page for the ride still exists on the park's website as of recording this uh, but you have to explicitly search for it rather than just finding it on the website. There's long-standing rumours that the next major investment for Fantasialand will revitalise the China area of the park, but the Hollywood Tour slash Crazy Bats building has also been spoken about before. Now, the ride itself was opened back in 1990. It's an Intamin water dart ride located in the fantasy area of the theme park. Now, we're going to have a look at Google Maps and see exactly what this looks like from afar and what I think could be replacing the ride in the future. So, on your screen now, Fandabidozi via Google Maps, this is the building currently hosting uh, Hollywood Tour as well as uh, Crazy Bats. Of course, uh, it was known as uh, as Temple of the Nighthawk. Uh, it was the indoor roller coaster. Of course, with the VR edition a couple of years back, and it was known, now known as Crazy Bats. Uh, now, obviously, like I said, or like it said in this report, um, Fantasialand's next major investment was scheduled to be in the China area. However, there's also been talks of the Hollywood Tour building. Now, my theory is the Hollywood Tour building will come before China. And I feel like there's a load of really cool things they could do with this. So, let's talk about my thoughts on the closure. What I think, could, do I think it's the right decision? But also talk about what I think could be the future of Fantasialand. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is talking about Fantasialand and Hollywood Tour. No more. That is a cut. That's a wrap uh, from Hollywood Tour uh, and its history in the park. 1990 uh, to 2019, its last full operating season. Or 2020, technically. Um, but yeah, 30 years. 30 years, pretty much, that ride's been in existence. And it's, it, that's a wrap. It's done. Um, do I think it's the right time to close the ride? I think with the damage, I think that, you know, you could revitalise it in a different way with the creative potential of Fantasialand, especially over the last, you know, decade or so with their investments. So, I think that maybe this was the right time to get rid of Hollywood Tour. I think there's a really cool thing you could do with it. You look at... Uh, movie Park Germany, what they're doing uh, with um, with their um, their Hollywood, their Movie Park Studios coaster uh, for this year. You look at what Gardaland's going to be doing for next year. The rumor of a Jumanji themed uh, indoor family roller coaster uh, in the Ramesses, uh, the Awakening Building, Dark Ride Building. Uh, so I think that Gardaland, I think Gardaland and Movie Park Germany's investments for this year and next year, respectively. Um, could be a bit of a hint towards what Fantasialand could do in the future. Now, you've also got to think, Crazy Bat's in the same building as Hollywood Tour. If they combine the, the two rides together in that same massive building, the same big building, what they could do is have one ride in that building. Now, of course, you are taking out uh, Crazy Bat, which is, again, an older attraction. And I think there's another thing inside as well, some kind of dinner show or restaurant or something like that. So if you take the restaurant out, you take the coaster out, you take out Hollywood Tour, you've got a massive building to play with there. That is your next big investment. Now, like I said, look at Movie Park Germany, look at Gardaland. I think there's one big way that, Gard uh, that uh, Fantasialand's going to go with this, and that is an indoor dark 
coaster. They seem to be on the rise again. You know, we had the, the classic dark coasters like X at Thought Park or, or X No Way Out when it was open. Uh, you had the, the Temple of the Night Hall, which now is known as Crazy Bats. Um, you've had other indoor coasters, Van Helsing's Factory. You know, uh, you know that one was a, a, a big one in its time. Um, so I think that there's a real potential here to keep revitalizing the indoor roller coasters and the dark coasters with the exceptional theming. Movie Park Germany is doing it with Movie Park Studios this year. Guardland could be doing it with the Jumanji themed coaster, which is rumored for next year in that Ramses the Awakening building. So I think the Fantasia Light could follow suit, but give it an original story. Don't forget, this is located in the fancy area of the park, or, so, or, or from what I've read, uh, the whole Hollywood tour building is located within the fancy area of the park. I think they can bring they can bring that fancy area or that fancy theme back, and they can bring it back in a big, big way. Use some exceptional theming, use an exceptional ride system like an Intermain, like what Movie Park Germany is doing, or you know what Gardaland could do next year if they're going to do a coaster inside that building in that Ramesses building. Go with the Intamin. Uh, if not, go with like a Ziero. You look at the Bolton. Look how that works. Uh, Busch Gardens Williamsburg. That's a, a great ride system. Yes, it's indoor and outdoor. But could you imagine a, a fully indoor Ziero uh, with a track drop? That'd be brilliant. Um, so I think there's there's a million different ways that Fantasia could go with this. They could go with an indoor coaster like to, to fill the void of Temple of the Nighthawk and include dark ride elements, which would pay homage to Hollywood Tour slash Crazy Bats with the VAR, etc. Uh, not VAR. Not, not VAR, VR, um, <laughs> uh, but I think they could pay homage to Crazy Bats with the sort of uh, theming and the sort of maybe technology you can involve in the theming of the coaster. Uh, you can pay homage to Hollywood Tour with the theming aspects and the dark ride aspects of the coaster, and then of course you can pay homage to Temple of the Night Hall with the dark, with the actual coaster itself. Uh, so you can pay homage to all three with an indoor coaster. You could go with a massive new dark ride because of course you've got to remember that uh, they only just opened Fly uh, recently, which they've become a fly coaster so of course you don't want to add a new coaster in, the, in a few years down the line straight away unless they were saving up for a brand new coaster so my theory is they're either going to go indoor coaster or they're going to go for a massive new dart ride so but I, I you know there's obviously long-standing rumors that China will be the the next area to be uh, rethemed and revitalized through Fantage Land's plans I think they're going to put that off. I think they're going to save that for a few more years down the line, and they're going to make sure that Hollywood Tour is the next sort of uh, big thing that gets rethemed and revitalized into something or changed into something else. And I think that's what they're going to do. I think they're going to go with Hollywood Tour first rather than China, because I think you, know, you, got, you got to remember back as well. Hollywood Tour had this water, what, what was believed to be a water damage problem, uh, which kept it out for most of last season anyway. So. I think with last season's shenanigans with Hollywood Tour, I think that they will focus on revitalizing that as their next big investment. I think they're going to put China off for a few years, the China area for a few years, uh, while they focus on getting this one. Because it's, it's like a, a sudden problem that came up last year. So I think that they'll focus on that and get that up and running with the new investment in a couple of years' time, in a few years' time. And then... China would be their next focus, but I, I, I do personally believe my theory is that China was in there first, but then Hollywood Tour's problem came up, and then I think that's now the, the, the sort of focus for their next major investment, but it's going to be a watch, it's going to be a, an interesting one to watch out for, but thank you very much guys for watching this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, my name is Coast Shell, Caitlin on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon, take care guys, have a fantastic day.